At the start of proceedings this afternoon, Adolfo Canepa revealed that the chief minister had written to him requesting that he rule on the calls made by the leader of the opposition for Mr. Picardo to repeat outside parliament the comments he made about Mr. Fitam during his budget winding up speech last month. Specifically, Mr. Picardo requested that the speaker rule on whether Mr. Fitam's threat to issue defamation proceedings if he did repeat his comments outside the House constituted an abuse of parliamentary privilege. Mr. Canepa based his ruling on one made in similar circumstances by his predecessor, Sir Robert Belisa, in 1990. On that occasion, Sir Robert said that when any of the rights and immunities known by the general name of privileges are disregarded or attacked by any individual or authority, the offence is called a breach of privilege or contempt and is punishable by law. This afternoon, Adolfo Canepa said it was his view that when an MP is challenged to repeat outside Parliament whatever he may have said in the course of the proceedings, there is no difference in principle whether the challenge is made by a member of the public, by a barrister acting on behalf of a member of the public, or by a member of Parliament. He therefore concluded that the ruling handed down by Major Belisa 25 years ago applied in its entirety in this case. Having read out his former ruling, Mr. Canepa went on to speak from the heart. What has occasioned the need for this ruling has been a very acrimonious debate, in particular during the budget session, when perhaps I as Speaker should have intervened very much earlier than in the event I did. But all that is against the background of a situation when for months both sides of the House have been engaged in very, very heated exchanges where personal considerations have come to the fore. Personal considerations sometimes fairly short, just short of insults. I warned honourable members, I think it was back in December or at the beginning of this year, that having regard to the fact that this was an election year, I was, go I was not going to allow such blandishments across the floor of this House. I think I failed at the last meeting. And as such, I apologise to all honourable members that perhaps I myself, as Speaker, was not up to scratch. I realise that friendship at the top of politics is extremely difficult. I realise that politicians often have to be ruthless. But I've been a member of this House for 20 years and I've sat on both sides. And there is someone here who has done even longer than I have, twice as much. And we were on opposite sides. And we have had members of Parliament, like Sir Joshua Hassan and Peter Isola, who were not on speaking terms for over 10 years. And they did not use, but they did not use the language that I have heard here in this House in the last six months. The question is, are we going to carry on like this? I would appeal to honourable members, in particular to the Chief Minister and the Leader of the Opposition, to draw a line about under these heated exchanges, to draw a line today. I may have to reflect myself, like other honourable members are doing, whether I am prepared to carry on. We think of ourselves as a mature community. We are proud of our democratic credentials. We have had a legislature now for 65 years. We have an excellent constitution which gives a lot of powers to the government of Gibraltar. And if we do really think that we are mature, I think that this is the place to start. Because what I hear outside Parliament and what is communicated to me from the social media doesn't lead me to believe that people look upon Parliament and parliamentarians as what they ought to be. I pledge myself to uphold the dignity of this House when I took over office. If that doesn't happen, I may not be prepared to do so again. I'm sure on behalf of the whole House um, that uh, without dealing with the substance of what you said, I'm sure none of us here fear that you have failed any of us in any way or that you fail in the effort that you put into the work uh, that you do and to thank you for your reflections, forget your ruling, but your reflections afterwards uh, and to say that no doubt all of us will take it into due consideration and to heart. In a statement issued shortly after Parliament adjourned until next Tuesday, Daniel Feetham insisted that what happened during the budget went beyond what is acceptable in parliamentary proceedings. He said that with parliamentary privilege comes huge responsibility too, and an MP 
should not be allowed to call someone a criminal because he is protected by parliamentary privilege and cannot be sued. Mr. Fitam claimed that he's never gone out of his way to destroy the reputation of a political opponent and denied that politics has become acrimonious because of anything he's done beyond what any responsible leader of the opposition would have done.